We're going to carry on with our simple tip series today with our armory tab. Now, there can be quite a lot involved to this, so there will be additional links in the description down below for you to watch later on, which will help you further with certain aspects of the game. So, in today's video then, the Armory tab, we're going to start off with your schematics. Now, your schematics is the place that's going to hold all of the blueprints for weapons and traps that you have obtained through the game. Now, you can get these from Llamas, Mission Rewards, Quest Progression, special events, you can get plenty of weapons and traps. And this is where they will all be stored. Now on your schematics tab, you will have a couple of different additional tabs on there. The first one will show all schematics that you own. The next one along will show you any new ones which you have recently got but not looked at yet. Next one will show all the schematics again, but this time in level order. And then it will narrow it down into range weapons, and then into melee weapons and then into your traps now with schematics the best thing to remember the higher the level of rarity of schematic the better it is going to be so eventually you're going to end up with all orange legendary schematics but early on in stonewood you will quite possibly have uncommon green ones and you will have rare blue ones it is nothing to worry about they will all come in time so that is your schematics tab now next on we have is the backpack now the backpack is essentially a storage pack which you can carry with you in your missions now any weapons and traps and resources that you have obtained will be in your backpack from here you can either delete them you can move them to storage you can use them do whatever you wish with the items in here now on the left hand side here that is going to also show you your schematics so any weapons and traps that you have got will show on the left hand side and from this you are going to be able to craft those items now it will have a crafting ingredients list on the left hand side which is going to show you what is required to craft that item providing you do have the resources you need you will be able to craft a weapon and once it has crafted it will then go over into the right hand side so as long as you remember the left hand side is your schematics which you can't use until you've crafted them the right hand side is all of the crafted items or weapons and traps that you have found from farming around the world now on the left hand side if the item like this is grayed out it means that you don't have the required resources so you're going to need to go and farm around the world in order to find the resources you need to craft your weapon there will be links in the description show you different farming videos on where to get different resources so they will help you out as well now, in addition to your backpack, you will also unlock storage. Now, once you get to that point in your Stonework questline that you do unlock additional storage, then you will be able to store extra items in here. Now, the only difference with your storage is you cannot access that from normal missions. You can only access it from your menu screen here or while you're in your home storm shield. When you are in a storm shield, you can access your storage, you can transfer items back and forth from there. And again, you will be able to increase the amount of storage space that you have. Your storage will have a similar setup to your backpack. It's going to show all items on your first tab, and then it will show ranged weapons, melees, ammo, traps, and ingredients. You can easily transfer items from one to the other. So it's a good place to store those items that you don't always use every single day, but you may use later on. Now, next up is your collection book. Now, I'm going to briefly go through this because it's not something that you really need to worry too much about in early Stonewood. And there will be a link in the description for a separate video covering the collection book, which you'll go into a lot more detail. But essentially, the collection book will hold a copy of any hero and weapon in the game. So any heroes, survivors, defenders, any pretty much all items are going to be available in the collection book. At some point, you will have the option that you will be able to purchase items out from the collection book. And you are also going to be able to include items in it. 
the first time that you do go to recycle any hero or survivor or schematic it will always add a copy of it to the collection book so at some point later on if you then find that you need a certain item or a certain person then you will easily be able to access it from here it does cover everything that the game has to offer so that it can be quite an extensive place to look the best tips though for early stonewood players is don't worry about purchasing anything from here yet don't worry about filling this collection book up that will be something that will come later down the line once you have learned everything else you need now next up we have is resources now i wouldn't worry too much about these in early game these are items that you're going to eventually use as you progress through the game but for early stonewood players you don't need to worry too much about it it is going to cover all items that are going to be used for leveling up different heroes survivors weapons and items in the game you will also get your x-ray tickets in here this is what you will use for purchasing llamas you're going to have gold which you'll get from missions and you'll use those for purchasing items out of the weekly and event store you're going to have your xp boosts which will increase the amount of xp that you receive from different missions that you do you're going to have your perk ups and your amp ups and things there for your weapons as are your xps and your training manuals and trap designs these are all items that you will use a little bit later on when it comes to leveling up weapons and leveling up heroes so don't worry too much about resources you can't delete anything from here so it's all good to go so that is your armory tab hopefully this does help you out as i said there will be lots of links in the description there'll be some in there for how to level weapons some about the collection book different items that are going to help you a little bit further in the game but if you do find this useful please drop me a like down below comments are always appreciated i try and respond to as many as i can but until the next one i hope you have a fantastic day stay safe commanders and i will see you on the next one